Welcome back. Folks, let me ask you something. You ever look at strangers and make like a snap judgment about them? Well, most of the time you're gonna be wrong. We have someone here tonight who is never wrong. He makes snap judgments. I don't know how he does it. He's good. This is all, he is good. He's good. We don't yeah. rig this, we don't fix it in any way. He is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Schreiber. Steve, come on out of here. This is the man you want to go eat with, right? That's right. <laughs> I'll pick up the check. Thank tomorrow. you very much. I appreciate that. Now, Steve, tell the audience what it is you do. This amazing power. So, Jay, I could stand on any street corner in Manhattan, look at men, women, even dogs, and tell you intimate, personal things about their private lives. Now, see, the first time he did it, I thought, oh, this is fake. Then I went out, and, oh, it's not. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing ability. Uh, you know, I I'm kind of like a, a peeping Tom of the soul. All right, now it's really creeping me out, okay? Before, it was just like psychic. Now it's like sleazy. All right, all right. I, and can anyone do this? Do you not think? anyone, not no. anyone. Uh, Have I you mean, ever found another person? I found one guy in Manhattan. Yeah. One guy, and he has the same precious gift as me. What are the Only odds one of that? that I found. Really? Let's take a look. <laughs> you know, they say you can't judge a book by its cover, but I do it all the time. That's why they call me Steve the Judgmental Bastard. Uh, he's from uh, New York City, lives in an outer borough, makes more than 75000 a year. He has called in sick with a fake voice. This guy has paid for sex. So I saw you and I made some uh, predictions or judgments about it. All right. You. All, right? All right. What did you uh, say? Okay. Uh, I said uh, that you're from New York City. You got that right. Okay. And uh, you live in one of the outer boroughs. Yeah, I do. All right. Very good. Have you ever... Tell me the truth now. All right, um, Use the phony sick voice to call in sick at work. Yeah, I have. Now, let me hear the voice. Yeah. Let me hear. Well, you know, I put toilet paper up my nose and oh, sound you congested and say, you know, I'm, I'm really bad, I'm sick, I, I can't make it in today, you know. <laughs> my head's, you know, my head's pounding, you know. So that's pretty good. You make more or less than 75000 a year? I'd say less. You make less than 75000 Yep, yep, yep. Okay, you, you haven't been my to... My ex-wife took it all. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Have yeah, you ever okay. paid for sex? Tell me the truth. Come on. Well, does marriage count? <laughs> well, you paid big for her, huh? Still okay, paid. so you have. Yes, then you're right. Uh, this guy uh, plays the guitar. He, he sucks. He's divorced. He's got two kids. Uh, he has gone to work high. No activities in his high school yearbook. Has had his fortune told within the last three years. Last time he had sex was Friday night. Uh, are you married? No. Have you ever been married? Twice. Oh, wow, okay. I said you were divorced. How many kids do you have? Two. Okay. Do you play the guitar? I do. But you're not very good, are you? Eh. Nah. I didn't think I you were very good. Uh, you have gone to work high. Many times. In your high school yearbook, there was no listed activities, right or wrong? I wasn't listed in the high school yearbook. You weren't even listed. That's a double right. Have you had your fortune told in the last three years? No way. You don't believe in that? That's a clock that doesn't tick. Really? <laughs> but that means. Oh, you don't believe that? No. Do you believe in UFOs? I hope, I hope they exist. You do? Yeah, well, maybe I they hope. get you one day and take you with it. That would be cool. That doesn't leave. I don't think as long you as I can come home. I don't think you need a spaceship. The last time you had sex was when? Who? Months ago. Really? Yeah, it's painful. With another person? I'm telling the truth. Yeah, I mean, well, myself, that's every day. Come on. Easy. <laughs> this is not her first dog. I've always had dogs. She has broken up with a guy because they didn't like the dog. Would rather have a dog than a kid. She has, at times, not picked up its poop. The dog has watched her have sex. She has taken a bath with the dog. So, so let me ask you, is yes. this your first dog? No. It's not your first dog? No. How many dogs have you had? I, well... Have you always had a dog since you were a kid? Yeah. You always yeah, have. pretty okay. much. All right. If your boyfriend says, get rid of the dog, I'm out of here, who goes first? He does. Absolutely. Would you rather have a dog than a kid? Yes, definitely. <laughs> that was a big yes. <laughs> All right. Has the dog ever taken a poop and you haven't picked it up? Yes. <laughs> it's so small. It's all right. It's all right. 
Has the dog ever seen you have sex? Yes. Now, tell me the truth. Have okay. you ever taken a bath? Yes. With the dog? Yes. How the hell did I get that it's right? Just... There's something wrong about that. Went to uh, design school or FIT, something like that, fashion school. He's been told he looks like somebody famous, loves Beyonce. He's listening to rap. Well, what is your name? Bernard. 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 Okay, Bernard, how you doing? All right. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Uh, so, has you ever been told that you look like somebody famous? I got carrot top once, but that's when I had the whole Afro thing going on. But I didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> what were you listening to on your iPod when I? I was listening to Fabulous, but it went into Beyonce. All right, so. Fabulous Beyonce. Yeah. And Fabulous is a rapper, correct? Yes, he is. All right, there you go. Did you go to college? Um, yeah, I'm at, I'm at um, FIT. FIT, fashion. there you go. What do you hope to do someday? Um, what you're doing right now, actually. So you want to be on camera? Yeah. Do you think you would be good at this? Do you want to try to take someone and judge them? I, I judge people on a regular basis. So, so would you like to try I'm it? good. I'll try it. All right. I'm ready. Let's try. She's definitely not from the United States. She's a little across the border. But she's pretty. She's a pretty girl. She's tall. She could be a model. She looked like she just had some last night. Some. You know what I'm talking about. I'll do her if I weren't gay. What do you think her favorite drink is? A favorite drink? Probably something fruity. All right. Yeah. Let's find out. This is Bernard. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. He said that you weren't from the USA. Where are you from? I'm from London. From London, all right, very good. Uh, he said that you are a model. Are you a model? Um, I've done a little in the past, but I'm not anymore. All right, but you've done some modeling. Very good, Bernard. And your favorite drink is? Fruit juice. Fruit juice, you said something fruity. Something fruity like Bernard. <laughs> Come over here. All right, all right. Yes. And it was good. Did you or did you not, now tell us the truth, have sex last night? No, not last night. When was the last time you had sex? Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. <laughs> Were you your boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> you did pretty good, Bernard. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. That's because Bernard is a judgmental bastard. Triple A gentlemen, right back with John C. Riley.